Welcome to the stream. I said I was going to make more of an effort to get this done, so... Let's play a bit of this. I imagine I'm at the end of it anyway, like... It seems everything is going to wrap up. So, we'll see. I don't know, knowing the other games, it just feels like I'm at the end. So. I just hope it's more than an hour. Kiryu, you on your way to Kamurocho Hills? Why am I not surprised you know that? Ha, it's just part of the job. Anyway, I know you already know this. But you can get to Kamarocha Hills via the bathroom in West Park. Doubt you'll forget that anytime soon. Yeah, thanks, Florist. Okay. Hey, Sandy. Look away. Hmm. Yeah, this is. This could be a problem. suppose I should do these side quests or else yeah, I don't have any money. Maybe it's not that far away from being done. I think that's the one thing that is a bit tricky about this game is the money distribution between the four characters is a little weird. Like, let's see, one of them has... Like roughly a hundred thousand. One of them has about fifty or sixty. One of them has three million, and Kiria has fifteen thousand. So I don't know. <laughs> I wish the money was shared, but I get why it's not. I hope I've had a good day. Ah, uh, I mean, it's just work. Wrapped up work like a little bit ago. Not a whole lot to say. Okay, <laughs> my money's been effectively doubled just by that one fight. How can this not be good enough? The texture of the noodles, the flavor, the soup. It's exactly the same as Kyushu number one star ramen. True, there's no question that it's faithful to Kyushu number one star ramen. I don't see any reason why I can't open my own Kyushu number one star shop. This ramen couldn't possibly disgrace the name. Yes, the ramen you have here is very well made. Okay, then why won't you let me open a new location? Because no means no. Now get back to work. Ouch. I know what it is. You just don't want me to go out on my own. It's this quest again. Hey, I'll have a bowl. Ah, if it isn't Kiryu's son. Oh, Kiryu's son, remember me, Ueda from Ace Cook? Nice to see you again. Oh, right. You were the one who made an instant version of the ramen here. It's been a while. You still come here? Of course. I'm a huge fan of this place. Heh, <laughs> right, I remember. By the way, who was that just now? Your apprentice? That's right, his name is Matsuyama. He's young, but he's got a plenty of determination and skill. He's really mastered our ramen. I can't wait to see what he'll do in the future. But you don't want him to open his own ramen shop. Well, that's... I'm sure you don't want to expand, but I'm guessing you have your own reasons.
Would you like to talk about it? I'd like to help if I could. I hate to burden customers with our own problems. But I suppose I can tell you. Matsuyama's plenty good, that's for sure. But do you really think there's any point in him just making the same ramen as I do? With the skill and intensity he's got, I'd like to go see him make something only he's capable of. Do you think he ought to go into the business on its own rather than opening a new branch of Kyushu number one star? That's how you really feel? That's right. And you couldn't just say that to Matsuyama-san? Actually, knowing you, I guess that's not likely. You nuts. What's... What good is it gonna do me to tell him? He's gotta see it for himself. It seems like he's really serious, though. Anyway, enough of this talk. Sorry to bother you with our troubles. Enjoy your ramen. Thanks. Matsuyama-san really seemed to have his heart set on opening a new branch. Yeah, he seemed pretty upset about it. Kiri-san, I know it's none of my business, but do you think it would be okay to let Matsuyama-san know the, how the owner really feels about this whole thing? Yeah, it seems he will never know otherwise. I'll see what I can do to help. You will? Thanks. Let's go find Matsuyama-san. Any idea where he might be? Ah, uh, well... No? Oh, well... It's not like he could have gone far. Let's split up and look for him. Sounds good. I'll call you if I find him. Sure. I'll do the same. He just ran off with his uniform, so he should be easy to spot. I should try asking if anybody saw him. I'm pretty much doing this so I get health money. I wonder what was up with that ramen shop guy. Excuse me, did you see a guy pass by wearing a white uniform? Yeah, I saw him come running out of the shop. He went to the end of the street and turned right. Is something wrong? No, nothing big. Thanks a lot. Matsuyama headed east on Taihei Boulevard. I'd better go after him. Hopefully this, this one isn't as long as the previous game. There's Matsuyama. I'll tell the waiter. Thanks for finding him, Kiri-san. Hi there, Matsuyama-san. Oh, Ueda-san. So I'm sorry I lost it back there. No, it's okay. About the owner, though. Forget about him. All he wants is to keep the name of the shop for himself. Actually, that's not quite true. What other reason is there? I made that ramen so carefully and he just brushed it off like it was nothing. It's not that. The owner has bigger hopes for you than just opening a new branch. That's why he's acting that way. What do you mean by that? Okay. That's really what he said? Yeah. He thinks you should focus on creating your own unique ramen. That's how much faith he has in you. You can't let him down, right? You're right. I'm really embarrassed. I walked... I, I talked back to him like that without even understanding what he meant. Well, he is something of an eccentric. <laughs> he gave you a pretty hard time last year, after all. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Kiri-san, Ueda-san, I really want to thank you two for going to all this trouble for me. My own unique ramen. I'll give it a shot. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you can make. Impress us. I will. I'd better start preparations right away. Glad that all got cleared up. Yeah, now we just wait and see what he comes up with. A new ramen that could rival the likes of Kyushu number one star. It'll be quite a challenge. Well, I'd better be heading back to work. Thanks for helping me out. Don't worry about it. See you later. It's not over. 
Yeah. So that's still like Yuya's thing. The batting cage. Okay, go back to the ramen place, I guess. There he is. Hey, Kiri-san, welcome. How's your creation coming along? Hmm, it's been kind of tough. It's got to stand up to number one star standards, after all. I've gone around to different ramen shops, I've tested some new ideas, but I'm having a bit of a ramen block right now. I see. Say, Kiri-san, if you're not too busy, would you mind helping me hunt for new ramen ideas? Who, me? That's right. I've heard quite a bit about you from Ueda son. He said you really helped him when he was working on his instant ramen. He's exaggerating. I didn't do much. Still, I need a fresh viewpoint. Obsessing over it isn't <laughs> going to help me get anywhere. Alright. I'll help I'll help you if you really want. You mean it? Thanks. I'd like to start out with a little search around town. Would you mind coming along with me? Sure. You said you've already tried all the ramen around here, right? Yeah. I think I must have eaten at every single place in town. In that case, we ought to try something a little different. It might give you some new ideas. Good thinking. Where do you think we should go first? Let's go eat some tasty yakiniku. I think it has something in common with that rich tonkotsu ramen at Kyushu number one star. Great idea. Let's go. Oh, cool. I don't have to pay. It's just implied that I paid. That was really good. So, what do you think? Get any inspiration? Hmm. Nothing that really jumps out at me. Guess we should go somewhere else, then. Where to next? Ramen's all about serving good food fast and cheap. With that in mind, it might be worthwhile to visit a fast food joint. Great idea. I never thought of that. Okay, let's go to Smile Burger. You're the boss. Nothing like good volume for an affordable price, and there's just something about the taste I never get sick of. Did it give you any good ideas? Hmm, can't say it did. Shall we head to the next place, then? Where to next? Let's go eat some top-notch sushi. Got it. Expensive high-end seafood would be the exact opposite of the affordable hearty tonkatsu ramen we serve. Exactly. Let's go. You're the boss. That was just sublime. Great fish, great rice, simply beautiful. It was good. But did you get any ideas? Not really. Nothing? Oh, well. We might as well take our time. Let's go somewhere else. Where to next? Maybe we're trying too hard. Let's just wander around for a little pace of change. Change of pace. But you shouldn't overthink things. Let's just take it slow. Okay. Yeah, my reading's not up to scratch. <laughs> I'm a little tired. This area never seems to change. No? But I guess the Millennium Tower was one really big change. The kind of people who come here now seem different. You're right, they do. There used to be a lot more small-time thugs around here. Phew, I feel so revitalized. Hey, that's... Ueda? Huh? Oh, Kiri-san. Matsuyama-san, what are you two up to? We were going to ask you the same thing. Hey, is there something different about you? Oh, you noticed, I stopped by a tanning salon. 
You know, I was up for a little image change. Thought I'd try a new style. Like something tough and urban, you know? Well, you were pretty pale before, so... Your tan makes quite an impact. I could... Honestly could not tell that he was tanned. <laughs> that doesn't look tanned to me. Doesn't it? Look out. I'm a little bit gangster now. Huh? Were you just bored or something? Wait a minute. Mr. Kiryu, what did you just say? I just thought maybe he had a little too much time on his hands. No, no. Before that. Uh, let's see. Uh, he was pale before, so his tan makes quite an impact. That's it! What? I've got it. This time I've really got it, Kiri-san. I have to follow up on this right away. I'll see you guys later. Whoa. What was he talking about? I don't know. But it sounded like he hit upon a good idea. Oh, you mean for his new ramen? That's great. We should drop by number one star then. Yeah. How do you like it, boss? This is my new creation. I call it Black Tonkatsu Ramen. I see. Garlic oil was an interesting choice. Looks like they've already started. Hi there, Kiri-san. I'd like you two to try my new ramen creation too. We'd love to. Ooh, that ASMR sipping. Wow. Now this is good stuff. Garlic oil, who would have thought? That's a great combination. The owner was saying the same thing. What is this garlic oil stuff anyway? Yes. The surface of the soup was completely black. That was from the garlic oil. Right. Garlic oil is made by frying and browning garlic and oil to capture the garlic's aroma and flavor. It's what makes this ramen so black. Hmm. It gives the soup a fragrant aroma and slightly bittersweet flavor, adding depth to the rich number one star soup. But there's more to it than that. He used thicker noodles than we normally do to give it a special texture. Yeah, and all the garlic is sure to be good for your health too. Black Tonkotsu Ramen seems like the perfect name. And to think Ueda's tan made you think of it, inspiration comes in strange ways. So that's what that was all about, huh? Now I get it. So, how do you think, boss? Adding garlic to our ramen? I never would have thought. Or more accurately, I was convinced our ramen was already perfect and didn't need to change. When did I get so set in my ways? Deep. If you've got the skill to come up with an amazing dish like this, you deserve my approval. Bravo! We were talking about you opening a new branch or even starting your own place, but instead I'd like you to take over. What? Are you t what are you talking about? Having raised an apprentice like you, I now feel fulfilled. I want you to take up the mantle of this shop. Oh. But, no, I, I won't accept that. What? You can't retire yet. We need you to keep making your delicious ramen. Heh. <laughs> Matsuyama's right. We all want you to keep at it. But I... It's true. I want you to... I want to keep enjoying your ramen for a long time to come. Hmm. Still, I really do think Matsuyama here is ready for his own shop. In that case, I have an idea. How about you act as partners? Partners? Hear me out. Both of you could make your own kind of ramen right here as an, at number one star. That's a pretty interesting idea. But that would be like we were competing with each other. The customers would have to pick one type or the other. Exactly. That'll certainly make things interesting. Let's start right away. Starting today, we're partners. But don't think I'll go easy on you just because you were my apprentice. Fine by me. I won't hold back either. And Ueda, I bet you're thinking about making an instant cup version of the new ramen already, aren't you? You know what? Ramen this good should be enjoyed by people everywhere. An instant version might not be so easy. I can handle it. Give me one more bowl in the name of research. Glad to.
Uh. Okay, it's done. Yeah, I don't know who this rival could be. I suppose I should go check it out. It's piqued my interest, fine. Uh, there's... Something I bunt on. Don't! Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, this is this is the last PS3 game, and then we move on to all stuff in PS4, and hopefully that one won't have this. Suppose it contributes to the healing fund. Hey you, yeah you. You come here often? Because I don't think I've seen your face around here before. Oh, have we met before? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I really don't remember. Guess all these... Nights of drinking have taken their toll on me, ha. Huh? Getting drunk will affect you in different ways, such as making the heat gauge easier to fill, or causing your field of view to wobble during a game of darts. You can get rid of these effects by drinking coffee or sobering up. What? Oh, I thought it was... It's the bartender I need to talk to. Evening. Mind if I take this seat? Apologies, sir, but that one is specifically reserved for the rest of the night. A reserved seat? At the counter? That's strange. I won't disagree with that, sir. Guess I'll just sit here instead. This one's not reserved, is it? Most certainly not. Go right ahead, sir. What's the glass for? Nobody's even sitting there. I see you've noticed, sir. To tell the truth, that seat is... Ah. Chigusa-san. Who? <laughs> what? The fuck was that for? You could have at least called me when you got back to town, but no, all you ever think about is yourself. There's only so much bullshit one girl can take, and I give and I give and I give and all I get is lights. Well, no more. I think you've got the wrong guy. I don't even know who you are. Chikusa Yachio, are you seriously pretending you don't know me? How low are you going to stoop? How could I remember you when we've never met? You're kidding, right? You promised me you'd come back to Kamarocha and we could be together again. I waited for you all this time and look what it got. What I got. I did what? Don't tell me that was another one of your lies. Where have you been this past year anyway? Look, I honestly don't know who you are, but maybe I can help you find the guy you're looking for. What's his name? I'm Kiryu, by the way. So you're going by a different name now. Do you really want to avoid me that badly? Well, I've had enough of the lies. I've heard them all before. First, it's business out of the country. Then you need money for an accident. It just never ends. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Fine. If you're really going to keep playing dumb, I'll just have to refresh your memory. Well, let's go. She wants me to come with her? I really have no idea what she's talking about, though. Come on, the clock's ticking. I can make you remember me. Just you watch. 
All right. I guess I can spare some time. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Ah, whatever. Let's start over at the Mac Bowl. You must remember Mac Bowl, right? I know it, yeah, but... Then let's go! We're here. What are you waiting for? Let's go inside. Right. Well, remember now? We used to come here together all the time. Uh... You seriously don't remember? We were work- you were working behind the counter, and not long after I got my job here, you asked me out. It was so romantic. I'd hate to sound like a broken record, but that wasn't me. <laughs> You're really starting to make me mad, you know that? Oh, Chigusa-san, long time no see. Have you been feeling better? I'm a-okay now, thanks. Did you ever end up figuring out things with your wife? Oh, that's, uh, we're long over it, yeah. Just one of those typical husband-wife arguments. You know how it goes. By the way, I found some of Yusaku-kun's things in the back room the other day. Mind if I leave them with you? Yusaku's things? Yeah. I thought he had taken it all with him when he left, but I guess not. I suppose he did leave in a hurry. Oh, sorry. I guess it's still kind of... Don't worry about it. Well, I should be on my way. There's somewhere else we need to go. Shigusa? Hold on a moment, sir. Could I ask you how you know Chigusa-san? Honestly, I don't. I think she has me mistaken for an old boyfriend or something. Oh, hmm. Now that I think about it, you do have a pretty stark resemblance to Yasuku-kun. And Yasuko's her boyfriend, huh? He... Was, yes. Come on, we don't have time to stand around here all day. There's something... <laughs> there's somewhere else I want to take you. Listen, um, if it's not too much to ask, it would be really great if you could give Chigusa-san some company today. I have a feeling she needs it now more than ever. Hmm. Dude's dead. What were you doing in there? Come on, let's go. Where to? Well, I picked up all your stuff, so we should probably drop by our office. Our, uh, office? Yep. I'm sure seeing it in person will jog your memory. Come on, let's go. What is this place? Don't you remember? It's the import store we started together. Store? There's not a store in sight. Don't be ridiculous. Here, let's go inside. I left everything just the way it was. Well, this is our office, remember? It's just an online store, so we don't have a sign or storefront or anything. Sure, but where's the actual stuff you were importing? What do you mean? Before it came in, you... Ah, so you're finally here. You're putting us in a real pinch here, you know that? You gotta clear out of this office now. Oh, it's you. Don't give me that. Your lease ran out six months ago. Now pack up and get out before the real trouble starts knocking. You can call this an import shop or whatever, but your president's out of the picture, lady. Just let it go. Don't touch me. Look, if you don't get packing... We're going to do more than just wrap you up a little. Hey, that's enough. She doesn't deserve this. What's it to you? And besides, she's most definitely does deserve it. The broad squatting in a building that's not hers. I, I hear you. How about this? You give us some time to talk. She fills me in on what's going on here. And I help her move out once she's done. It won't be long. Yeah. Like we're going to trust some clown we've never laid our eyes on before. We're not fucking around here, asshole. I uh, guess there's no more point talking, huh? <laughs> if you're not going to go of your own free will, we'd be glad to lend you a hand. Come on, boys, let's chuck these fools out.
<laughs> Good job. I love how the other dude is polite and just watches. This dude's one tough cookie. How about you guys call it a day? I'll make sure she gets the contract handled. Or do you need another round of convincing? Yeah, alright, alright. Guess we'll be on our way then. I put the stuff from the bowling alley over in the corner there. Oh, thanks. Sorry I messed up your office, by the way. No, it's alright. Thank you for helping me. Hmm? It looks like you have a message on your machine. Really? But I haven't been using this place for almost a year now. Who would try to call me here? Let's listen. Chigusa, I hope this message reaches you. Yasuku? There's something I need to tell you. Something I didn't have the guts to say in person. The truth is... I don't have much time left. The doctor said a month, maybe two. The cancer just spread so quickly, I... There was nothing I could do. You probably think this is just another one of my lies. Honestly, I didn't believe it at first, either. I mean, dying before I hit 30? It sounds like a bad joke. But... It's the truth. No matter how hard I want it not to be. I can only imagine how you're taking this. Something tells me you're gonna just laugh it all off. But I'm telling the truth, Shigusa. If I were there with you now, I'm sure I'd pretend like nothing was wrong. That's why I needed to do this over the phone. It was the only way I could tell you the truth. I know that seems like the cowardly way out, but it had to happen this way. If you get this message, take a look in the desk for a pickup slip for a store called La March. The package that's waiting for you there will tell you how I really feel about you. Sorry for making you run errands, even from the grave. <laughs> and I'm sorry I treated you the way I did. I'm sorry I'm leaving you behind like this. I'm sorry I ever loved you. I guess this is goodbye. I love you, Shigusa. I'll always love you. And that's the truth. Dead? You can't really expect me to believe that. I mean, you're standing right in front of me. You always were a terrible liar, you sucker. I found an envelope just where he said it would be. And there's a slip for the march in here too. So, do you want to go? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I kind of called it. I mean, that it would be dead, not not in that way. So the package here will tell me how you really feel about me? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't say. I guess you'll find out once you hand that slip to the man behind the counter. Right. Let's go inside. Welcome to La March. Hey, um, this place makes me kind of nervous. I don't really spend time in fancy shops like this. Well, you have the pickup slip, right? Why don't you just hand it to the clerk and we can get out of here? Would you do it for me? Sure, let me see it. Why well, do I get the feeling it's going to be a fucking wedding ring and then she's going to be more delusional? Excuse me, I'm here to pick this up. Let me see, you know this is from a year ago, yes? Just a moment, sir. Here we are, sir. We set this aside for a customer who said someone would come by and pick it up later, but they never came. And I suppose that would make you Yusako Iwasaki, yes? This is the set of matching platinum rings you requested. Rings? <laughs> what did I just say? They appear to be engagement rings, man. That was the order we received, at least. Oh, right. 
Congratulations, I wish the two of you all the best in your lives together. Now then, here are your rings. Thank you. So... Engagement rings, huh? Let's put them on. They're a pair after all. As long as you're sure. What are you doing? It's too small for my finger. Hey. What's wrong? I give up. Yusuke is... he's gone. Shigusa. I've known all this time, I just... Forget it. Let's just... just let me be alone. I don't think that's gonna help. We should go somewhere where we can sit and take a breather. Fine. Let's just go back to Bantam, then. Yusaku and I used to go there together all the time. Got it. Let's go. You ready to head in? Yeah. Oh, Shigusa-san. Please, take a seat. Hold on. Didn't you say the seat was reserved? That's right, for Shigusa's boyfriend. Yusaku-kun. And the drink? It's for him as well. Yusaku-kun would always sit in that very seat when he came here to take a load off. Today makes it a year since he passed. Even still, I had a feeling he would come in for a drink today. So he's really gone. He was so young too. That's the scary thing about cancer. Sometimes it spreads so fast it'll be far too late for treatment by the time you even know it's here. Shigusa-san knows what happened, but she can't seem to bring herself to believe Yusaku-kun is gone. He had a bad habit of lying to her, so she convinced herself that his death was just another one of his lies. She convinced herself I was Yusaku-kun too. So it seems. Shigusa-san. That's enough. I know it hurts to hear this, but waiting for Yusaku-kun isn't going to bring him back. No, no, I don't believe it. Shigusa. Please, this is all just a stupid lie, right? You can't be dead, he just can't. This engagement ring was a lie too, he never wanted to get married. He's just running away. After all those lies, why would he tell the truth this time? Shigusa-san, I have a letter for you from Yusaku-kun. San, jeez. I think it's finally time for you to read it. A letter? He dropped it off when he found out he didn't have much time left. He told me to give it to you after he was long gone. That's when he told you he was leaving town. He didn't want to burden you with his death, Shigusa-san. He wanted you to move on, fall in love again. And he knew that you'd probably think this was just another one of his lies. He said that was that part with a little smile. I can remember it clear as day. Why didn't you tell me he only had a few months left and we didn't even get to spend that time together? I wish I could have been there to support him. Yusaku, I miss you so much. Shigusa. Are you crying? No, of course not. I would never cry over an idiot like that. I was just faking it, lying like he always did to me. Please, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me anymore. Shigusa, there's no point in hiding it. You can put on a brave face all you want, but I know you're hurting deep down. And think about it. Yusaku lied to you so you'd be happy. He knew he was dying. But told you one last lie to get you to move on and smile. So, if you're going to lie and say you're fine, the least you can do is smile while you say it. For Yusaku. I'm not fine. And that's okay. It's alright to cry, Shigusa. If you ask me, I don't think Yusaku would have wanted you to hide how you really feel. Is 
Is that it? No. I have to thank you, curious son. If I hadn't met you today, I might never have come to terms with Yusaku's death. Hey, you finally called me by the right name. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did. I really put you through a lot today, huh? What, that? It was nothing. Thank you, though. You're an amazing person, Kiri san I might even fall for you if I'm not careful. Oh, wait. I still have those engagement rings from earlier. Will you marry me, Kiri san Uh. <laughs> just kidding. Another little lie. Sorry, you didn't believe me, did you? <sighs> even so, I want you to have these. I don't need them anymore. Are you sure? Yeah. Yasaku gave me something far more important than these rings today. And it's not just that. If I hang on to them, I don't think I'll ever find the strength to move on. Alright, I'd be honored to take care of them for you. Well, I should be going. Goodbye, curious son. So, as sweet as this moment is, it's just going to take space in my inventory. <laughs> so, am I going to sell them? Probably. Maybe sometimes lying is the right thing to do. Right? Um, well, because I want that, that for, uh... Hey, why isn't the menu coming up? There we go. Jeez. Okay, well, okay, it's only one. I can't wear them. See, now clearly you get them to sell them. I can put them in the item box and never sell them. <laughs> just, just head straight to the pawn shop. I'll move them to the item box. I'm not a monster. If I were a monster, I would sell them and go to that massage parlor and try to beat that stupid minigame with Kiryu. Okay, uh, there's a couple more things. I imagine one of them is Kamaki. Oh, and there's the batting cage thing too, so. Okay. Uh, this is the hostess club thing, isn't it? Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> You would think, after like, how many years, like 30 years of Kiryu being in town and kicking the shit out of people, that, you know, I don't know, word would spread? He gave me heals, so I guess that's good. Yeah, look, I'm that side story, I'm not doing it. I know what it is already. They're gonna ask me to go to hostess clubs, and you just have to have so much dialogue between them. We've done it once. Don't need to do it again. It's just a repeat quest from a previous game. What is this, though? Just, just calm down, okay? It's normal to feel crabby when you're hungry because your brain speeds up the release of adre adrenaline as it tries to rate blood sugar. That's, um, very informative. In other words, there's a whole lot of adrenaline running through our systems right now, if you get what I'm saying. Something wrong? Huh? Oh, it's really nothing. Oh, okay, actually it's something, but I'll take care of it, somehow. If... You're sure? 
No, wait, sorry, but I really do need some help here. What kind of help? You see, I was just about to deliver these guys their lunches. I work delivery part-time. Thing is, I crashed my bike, you know, totally wrecked the thing. Their lunches got wrecked too. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. First of all, quit dragging random people into this. You sure know how to cause a scene, kid. But, wait. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't worry about this. No, don't go. Help me out here. Man, how do I keep getting dragged into these things? Are you really sure the lunches are ruined? I guess the rice is still pretty much edible, but the side dishes are a complete loss. And nobody wants a lunch just of rice, right? Sure, it's simple and zen and all that, but you gotta have side dishes. Obviously. Then why don't you go pick up some dishes around here? That's gonna be expensive, but it's your responsibility after all. Oh man, that that is like the perfect idea. Why didn't I think of that? You're a genius, man. Good one, buddy. All right, well, good luck, kid. Thanks, man. Ow! Sorry, looks like I hurt my leg in that crash. <sighs> Ow, my leg must be broken. It hurts like hell when I put my weight on it. If it was broken, you couldn't stand up. Anyways, I really feel bad asking and all, but would you go get the food for me? Hmm. Guess I've got to see this through. Fine, kid. I'll help you out. Really? Dude, you mean it? This kid is starting to get on my nerves. What kind of lunch was it supposed to be? It was a curry lunch. Like I said, the rice is still okay, but the sauce is a mess. Curry, huh? So I guess that's what I should go look for, then. Sorry, buddy. We really hate to put you out like this. Yeah, sorry about this, but could you make it quick? Yeah, yeah, just... Wait here. Hmm, curry. I'm pretty sure there's a restaurant or something around here that has it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me get my bearings. Isn't over there? I think. No? Which one? Or, no, but that's... I could have sworn I was on the right street, but maybe I'm not. Ah, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, bruh. It gives you, like, less than a second to react. It's so annoying. Dude makes a sound effect. He's already halfway to me. Why, why do you do this, then? Yeah, 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 yeah. This will pay for the curry dishes. Welcome, let me show you to your seats. Oh. It doesn't have curry. Okay. Well, fuck that, I'm gonna eat some rib meat. A restaurant that has curry.
That's weird. Do you ever meet other Yakuza members in this game? Yeah. Of course. It happened at the start of the game. But I mean, specifically, this dude has like a, uh... Almost like a Batman and Joker type situation going with, uh, a particular Yakuza member. He's probably one of the greatest video game characters ever. We don't have... Who the fuck sells curry? Pretty much the main story is always with Yakuza members, and then the side stories are with the general public. Most often. I'm not sure where to go get this. <sighs> don't even think about it. But yeah, not a lot. I'm just trying to make progress in this. Make an effort towards finishing it. Pronto? <laughs> and then I'm gonna play some Diablo 2. Kick back with some tunes. It wouldn't be this one. This one's the Italian restaurant. Sahara Masala? No. What's with Tommy? Never seen that restaurant before. I don't really... I don't really want to go looking all around town. You've been up for 36 hours, almost had a heat injury. Shit, dude. Yeah, you should be resting. <laughs> go rest. Appreciate the uh, pop in there. Oi. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I'm looking this up. <laughs> Yakuza for curry. Are you- are you kidding me? Wow. There's- there's no way I would've guessed this. I was pressing- uh, mashing the buttons. Oh, that- that shot of the face. There's no way I would've guessed it. Like, this is as dodgy as the time Nathan Fielder tried to sell chili at a, at a, uh, stadium. <laughs> yep. Good. <laughs> Good 
good throw. I'm confused, isn't it meant to be here? Okay, hang on. Yeah, don't worry about that. Matsuya? Fuck is Matsuya. Matsuya Tenkaichi Street. Okay. Turn left. They mentioned the public park, but there was nothing there, so... I need to get some curry. Okay. So now I gotta go prepare him. Okay. I mean, at least it's on the way. Sort of. <laughs> this is like when you order something and then it says, Oh, it's dropping another order off on the way, and then it's not really on the way. Date, do you mind if I borrow your stove? Help yourself. I never had you pegged for the cooking type, Kiri. I don't have much choice. I have to heat up this curry. Well, have at it. Thanks. It'll only take a second. Man, heating up that much curry took longer than expected. Thanks, Date. Sure, no problem. Take care of yourself. I better hurry back to the construction site. Damn it, I thought it was going to put me there. Oh well. Are you f- <laughs> Where did you even come from? Where? Unbelievable. Okay. Thanks for that trash.
Kiri is probably carrying, like, multiple liters of curry here. And that's fine, it doesn't spill. Has elegance and grace. Reflexes of a cat. Oh, dude, you're back. What happened to the curry? Oh, sweet. You brought enough sauce for everybody. Nice and hot, too. Man, you're one heck of a guy, you know that? You really took care of business. Yes, curry. Finally, it's here. Curry, curry. We love curry. Ha 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 ha. Huh. Boss, isn't that a little too early to celebrate? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Sure, we finally got our curry, but the real question is, does it taste any good? It's not over. Gah, hungry, crap. The curry we ordered was supposed to be from a famous curry shop, but how does this curry stack up? Maybe we should taste it before we get too excited. True enough. I don't know what I'd do without that sharp mind of yours. The assistant foreman's right. It comes down to the taste. Don't think you're out of the woods yet, boy. Okay. How was it? It's fantastic. Tastes great. Yeah, it's delicious. Yes, dude, they like it. <laughs> That's a relief. Man, you are like my idol. I don't think I could have done this without you. I, th I thought your leg was broken. It's a miracle. It feels better now that I'm so pumped up. If you say so. Dude, thank you so much. I should have totally asked before, but what's your name? I'm Tomoya. Kazuma Kiryu. Kiryu, got it. Man, even your name is badass. I really wish there was some way I could thank you, but this is all I've got. I know it's kind of a lame reward, but it comes from the heart. Good enough. Be careful not to crash your bike again. I will. Take care, Kiri-san. Alright, we've had our break. Now back to work. Okay, boss. Alright. Uh, the batting... Well, okay. I mean... There's, there's just one of them that I'm going to ignore. Wait, what? It's here? You? I'm telling you, my friends. All this guy, really. Come on, aren't you kind of old for superhero stories? I'm sure they were just filming for a TV show or something. Nah, it was real. My buddy said the fat dude in yellow tights was styling all over those punks. People get beat up in TV shows all the time. Now, can we just go already? I don't want to be late for that movie. Some guy in tights, what? Talk to them again, maybe? No, okay. Walk away, maybe? It might not be obvious. This might be it. The Kamarocha God. What the hell is that? You superheroes or something? Ha! <laughs> Heek, no more. Huh? What the? Hey, that's enough. 
Seeing weak fools like you trying to act big just pisses me off. And who the hell are you, old man? You best stay the fuck out of our business. So, weaklings like you picking on even weaker guys is called business now? Sounds like a pretty shitty business to me. What did you say? I don't know who you think you are, Gramps, but you're fixing to get a lesson in the art of ass kicking. We'll see who'll be teaching whom. Heh, <laughs> this old man is actually pretty funny. All right then, let the lesson start. Shut it and fight already. Unlike you guys, picking on small fry isn't my thing. So I'll make this quick and painful. Ha, <laughs> come on. Let's break this guy's mouth so we don't have to hear it anymore. I don't know. I would be running if, like, I challenge someone to a fight and then they kick one of my friends and he goes flying, like, 15 meters. Just seems like a smart idea. I mean, there's a difference between tenacity and stupidity. Ah, ugh. You think you're gonna get away with this, man? There are no consequences for stepping on insects like you. Ha <laughs> ha, you don't know who you're messing with. You just made enemies with the Kamarocha Aqua Devils. The rest of our team is already on the lookout for your ass. You ain't getting off easy. Wait. I heard that you helped one of our members. Oh, you're... Kiryu-san, I had a feeling it was you. So you're back in town? And you are? Oh, how rude of me. I am Akaishi from the Kamurocho Guard. We volunteer our efforts in order to maintain peace and order in Kamurocho. I had no idea that I'd be meeting such a legend when I woke up this morning. I've heard so many things about you, it's, uh, it's an honor. I would like to offer you something as thanks for helping us out. Don't need it. I just didn't want to see that go any further. By the way, who were those guys? A gang with growing influence in the area. A gang, huh? For the most part, things were relatively quiet when you were here, but after you left, young gangs like that began to multiply. They don't act... Oh wait, they don't like what we do and take every chance they got to take us down. We've been trying to reason with them, but to no avail. We're still too small to carry out any real preventative measures. I see. You guys have your work cut out for you. We'll do anything to make the city we love a better place. Honestly, times in Kamurocho are tough. Either way, this isn't good, Kiri san what you, did, what you did back there made you a target as well. It would appear so. But that's nothing for you to worry about. I don't plan on bothering them, but I don't plan to forgive them either if they try to start something with me. And if they learn their lesson after I'm through, it's better business for you, right? You have a point there, but we were the reason the fight even started. Let us assist you, Kiryu-san. Assist me? Are you suggesting that we fight together? I don't think that's necessary. I see. Okay, then. How about letting me pay you for helping to get rid of that gang? Pay me? No, sorry. I feel good about- I don't feel good about taking money from volunteers. But I appreciate the offer. No, please, we get funding for our activities from various places. I'd plan to use it to hire some professionals, actually. But I think you alone are equal to a dozen infantry troopers. Please help us, Kiri-san. All right. If you insist, I guess I'll accept the offer. Thank you. After today, you're bound to see more of the gang come out and target you. Please be careful. Until next time. Shit. <laughs> oh no. It, probably not great. It just... 
Wait, so that wasn't the, the side quest? What is this one about, then? Yellow tights, okay. I mean, maybe we have to specifically look for this dude. You know what, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go buy the health potion I was looking for. And by health potion, I mean energy drinks. <laughs> you know what I mean. Health-related healing items. Not really potions. I'm mixing up my terminology from, like, fantasy games. I think I took the wrong street. It's... Over here. Don't talk! <laughs> My god, you can't avoid it. You know, you would think Curious outer suit would be completely red. He's been wearing this for, what, 20 plus years? So much blood that it should have stained the suit permanently red. Or I guess brown. <laughs> it's not going to be red, but... Okay, this is where I was trying to get to. Okay, I... I'm gonna... Toughness Emperor, probably. I have to stick to the budget. Do this for good measure. Okay. Um, Kamarocha Hills. All right, cool. Please, no fight. Is this... Yep, no. <laughs> you do, like... Uh... I don't even get anywhere near him. So not only am I being targeted by these assholes, but there's the blue gang as well. Ha <laughs> ha! 
There's nothing he could do. Uh, the silver plate's decent. It, it is worth quite a bit of money. But I have to go to a specific shop to sell it, which... Eh, I mean... Don't. Please. No. Okay. We good. All right. Hopefully I have enough healing to get through this. Why are there so- oh my god, why- why are there so many of them? He has a sledgehammer. Yeah, okay. Not good. As long as there's no Saito, I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, this dude's a blocker. Okay, I think I have enough to take some of the high tier skills now, so let's take a look. Ah, uh, ooh, heat gauge to get health back. That's pretty useful. Kamaki, ultimate, te yeah, ultimate Kamaki technique, I think. R1, then triangle when the enemy attacks. L1. We'll do the double, double Kamaki move. Kamaki parry. R1, then circle. And then we'll go... This one. Heal. Kamaki moves are very useful. Wow, that did nothing. Ow. How does he not get? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I have to heal. Let's do this. Wait, what was the move? Abilities, hang on. In heat mode, if health is- oh, if health is flashing, it's not flashing. Okay, well. <laughs> that 
face. Okay, get the gun. Looks like I'm going to have to go through the front. Do I still have the gun? <laughs> Jeez. I was not ready for that. Almost missed it. Oh no, he has a he has a baton like Saito. Fuck's sake. <laughs> and they're all grabbing, stop it! This is the one thing that I find annoying about this game in the previous one is oh my god, the amount of times they grab. It's so annoying, like, <laughs> get rid of one, and not- STOP IT! <laughs> not- <laughs> Stop it! Another one just latches on immediately. It's such annoying AI. Oh, and yeah, enemies that have stuns, like, it's just constantly the same thing. <laughs> I hate this. Is that it? No, this is still alive. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's good. It's fucking but oh my god. It's just At least he's not as bullshit as Saito. Don't you dare. Is there another one? Yep. I'm getting a little tired of these brick wall enemies. Thanks.
Okay, the dude with the knuckle dust is the brick wall. And it's gonna be another four dudes trying to grab me. Oh no, I remember- yeah, I've, I've fought one of these guys before, they're equally annoying. Hold on, while I'm here. Kamaki reversal. Okay, what? Okay. Um Keep going. Oh no. <laughs> it's the dude with the baton again. Trying to do a heat move on him. <laughs> nice headbutt. Wow. <laughs> so dumb. Thank you. There we go. Alright, he's dead this time. I think. Very lenient. <laughs> Could have opened fire. Alright, I have the pistol now. Just making sure there wasn't health. Oh, fuck. 
the cart. Oh, this is not good for business. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Oh! <laughs> I get up and they instantly grab me. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> Okay, okay. What can I do ability-wise? Okay. Okay, this isn't this isn't too bad. <laughs> when he doesn't have his minions grabbing me, he's nothing. Did I get the hell? Hold on. Aha! I did not. Oh! What the fuck? Came back. That was quick. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is going to be the same thing again. I have to... I have to focus on him. Oh my god.
I mean, at least the shotgun made it easier. Closer to the roof, but not on the roof. Because of course not. This is going to be lengthy. Oh, no. What have I done? Wait, what? What was that? What's this? Uh, ooh, the sledgehammer. Oh, it makes me very slow. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Too slow. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, there was a dude here. Oh no. Good, just stay back. Be polite and let me deal with you one at a time. Love it. Thank you for being polite. Wait. Oh, oh shit. Well, that one does do a lot of damage, to be expected. Oh wow, that's all that it heals you for, not much.
<laughs> nice kick. Where'd my gun go? I mean, I imagine the direction I have to go in is where all these dudes are. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't go past that point. Go, 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 go. Where'd your gun go? He didn't drop it. That's annoying. Oh no. Multiple heavies. This works in my favor. Where's the other construction hammer? There should be a second one. Oh, I guess that'll do. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Slick moves, Kiryu. Gonna, ugh, they're gonna do this grabbing thing again. Ah! <laughs> hey, Cammy, how's it going? Let go! I was spamming that button so much. I hate the AI. <laughs> okay, now I can focus this one down. Well, I can heal, so that's nice. Let's use this one and this one. But you sneeze and your spine crack, jeez. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> I'm doing alright, I'm just kicking back. Had a long day with work. Oh no, he's got a quarter staff. Damn it. Oh, 
Whoa. Holy shit. Gotta carry you. <laughs> that was like some Steven Seagal shit. I mean, they're still all standing, but nevertheless. was good, Steven Seagal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, whenever I think of just bullshit ways of taking down a group of enemies, it's always him. Although Kiri is a lot more buff than Seagal, so... Parkour! What did this achieve? Shortcut, maybe? Fuck, wrong button. Ooh, this dude's got a lot of health. Oh, there's a guy with a gun, alright. Deal with the gun first. Helped a lot. Nice kicking. Surprised he didn't do the multi like before. How long have I been fighting through this area? It's been at least 20 minutes. I, I would hope that I'm near the end. think, right? The key to Kamarocha Hills. Great. The key to the emergency exit. Time to keep moving. Nearly at the roof. I imagine this is the home stretch now. Oh no, another dude with a shotgun. I think there's a dude with a gun. A dude with a sledgehammer. No, baton, shotgun, fuck. Oh, this is not good. S Seagull is one of your favorites just because of all the stories about him and how his accent has changed four to five times. Wait, from being Italian to being Southern? Well, the other thing is he, he uh, I don't know if you knew this, but he runs a very weird. Don't worry, I'm not going to show the video if anyone... It was a running joke for a while where I would show footage of him running weird. It's okay, I'm not going to do it. That was last year. That was 2021's joke. I've moved on. But if you're, if you're curious, just look at a compilation of Steven Seagal running. He 
does indeed have a very strange way of running. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. God. This is brick. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> they don't. They don't get knocked back. Okay, throw it. This definitely has to be the end, like, this is such an obstacle to get through. Like, you would assume that I reached the roof after this. So much help. Okay, I'm attacking the dude with the most health. I think that's my problem. The other two have less health. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Get rid of that guy. This guy should be next. Okay, there we go. Thank fuck. Alright, there we go. Better hurry to the roof. Twenty minute climb. You know, if they changed the last letter of his name to a U, he'd be Katsuragu. Chicken Katsu with Ragu. Mm-mm.
Oh shit, it's the money. And the traitorous dick. Fox nipples. Oh, he's angry. He has a very different demeanor. This is in if this is like any of the other Yakuza games, she's gonna die. <laughs> Calling it now. Kidogasochinitara, <laughs> There's the evil smirk. Daijoka. Come in, sir. I just got you to kick on a cut to get a boy. Annie to a Hanaseta. Nagaisika, is she can keep a little car? So, that smirk. Don't trust the. Uh... Yep. There's the backstab. Katsuragu. Dun dun dun. Kind of figured. Is he really going to? Watch close, what? Oh!
さすが俺の兄弟分だよくやったな木戸はいせいかないいやあにどうやってパコー Black and blue versus gray and red. He's wearing a tie, Kiryu's not. It's like a mirror. Similar demeanor. おそすぎるんですよ。あなたはいつもおそすぎる。だからこうなるんです。それじゃ。パコ。お兄ちゃん。まだ奴が生きとる。かずらぎ。ねえ。よくわかったな。25年前よりは。Oh、what さあ、最も可哀想だな。お前みたいな間抜けな子分を持って。ねえ。こう。あえた。お前のような数殺す気もせん。一生そこで寝てろや。うわ。お兄。この僕が。<笑> Uh, okay, I called it. <laughs> What is it with like any woman that ends up on a roof of Kiryu just ends up dying? With the exception of one. No, maybe she's okay. I think this is just adrenaline here.
Why is he afraid? So I guess this wasn't the final chapter. Ah, there you go. One thing left to do. So then, final chapter is next. Requiem. Yeah, there you go. Finale. に殺し損ねただと君らしくない失態だな。申し訳ありません。さすがの君でも上で手元が狂ったというのか。まあいい。木戸とかいうチンピラが一人生きていたとこで大した問題じゃない。ああ、キラスは生きてくれた。だが、問題は金の方だよ。金。そうだ。こうしてファイルは無事取り戻した。だが、どうして君はあの現場から1000億を持ち帰らなかったんだ。やろうと思えば持ち帰れたはずだ。警察の手を使えばすぐに押収でき
1000億は君に責任を持って奪ってきてもらうよ。どうやって<笑> Seems unnecessary. What's he got? 人間誰しも弱みというものはあるものだ。ああ、なあ。沖縄に行ってこの子供たちを連れてきなさい。ファーク。そうすれば、あのキリュウという男は取引に応じるはずだ。This guy is an evil cunt. It's fucked up that the supposed criminal was having, like, a guilty conscience over this. Hmm? Good. 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 Where's Akiyama? Over at his office, said he needed some time alone. Can't say I blame him. Not with the, how, how he felt about Yasuko. Yeah, I can't imagine. Anyway, what now? Munakata probably had his paws on that file for a while at this point. Good question. Well, we can't let things end like this, that's for sure. Yasuka san's dead, Munakata's still on the force, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. You think I'm just gonna sit around and let that stand? Tanamura. Where are you going? Don't gotta tell you that. Saijima, we have proof now that you didn't commit those murders 25 years ago. You'll be a free man once we get them to review your case. Don't give a rat's ass, one way or another. Do whatever you want to do. I ain't going nowhere. Just gonna go get some fresh air. What? Oh, yeah, he was injured. ハルカも看病してくれてありがとうな。いや、そんなことはいいよ。ね、おじさん。うん？なんだ。浜崎さんっておじさんのこと守って死んじゃったんだよね。ああ、そうだ。あいつは俺を守ってくれたんだ。私
もうすぐしたら沖縄に帰れると思う俺が帰ったら供養してやるつもりだ<笑>それじゃあ Still can't believe he has all that. さあ。浜崎はな沖縄で俺と安子さんを守ろうとした時傷を負ってたらしい今朝まで懸命な治療をしていたが最後は眠るように言ったそうだお前にはるかから伝言だ浜崎は死の間際こう言ったらしい警察から登場会を守ってくれと登場会は俺たちの生きた証だどうな兄弟40年も生きてやっと分かった俺もあんたも自分に正直に生きてはならない人間なんだ常に人から何かを託され I mean, he looks good for his age, fucking hell. <laughs> Both of them don't really look like they're approaching 50. そうだ俺らはまだやらなきゃならないことがあるんだボスザルは猿山にいてこそふさわしいここにいる全員まだやり残してることがあるんじゃないですかね I've got an idea. Let's use my hundred bill. How, how exactly?、Uh, it's simple. We haul it up to the roof of the Millennium Tower, then kick back and wait. What? That's it? That's it. Back it up a sec. What's that to accomplish? It'll bring in the flies buzzing straight into our web. Flies? Not literally, I'm talking about our enemies. That's kind of a broad term. Who exactly are you thinking is going to show? Not sure. We'll just have to wait and find out. Huh? You're not making any sense, man.、Mm, hold on a sec. Think about everyone we know who's wrapped up in all this Minakata, Arai san, Kido chan, the Tojo. All those parties are playing different roles in this little performance, but we still don't know who's the real ringleader. Until we get them all in one place, laying it all on the line, we're just gonna be shooting in the dark. So we lure them out to find out who's really in charge. 
Exactly. We tell each party that we're keeping the cash on the roof of the Millennium Tower. And they can come up and make a deal with us if they want a slice of the pie. We play our cards, right? They'll all slam head first into each other. And then they'll have to duke it out over the money. Yep. Though I don't really care if they fight or not. All that matters is that we figure out who the big bad is. And from then on, it'll just be a good old-fashioned beatdown. That's my kind of plan. That's the what and where settled, then. What's about when? Well, it's gonna take a while to haul those stacks up there. And I'm sure all of you have stuff you want to handle before we execute the plan. How about we all go our separate ways for a while, grab some food, hit up some convenience stores, then meet back here when we're ready. Works for me. Sounds like a plan. You good with that, Saijima son? Yeah. I'm in. Yes. Yeah. それまでは各自自由時間ってことでえこういうのやめませんちょっと古臭いしいいからいいからこういうの大事なんだってさ手出してわかりましたよ。<笑><笑> <laughs>いい感じで話しちゃいましたけど一歩間違えば普通に死ぬかもしれないかけだ覚悟はできてますねbear it is Let me know when you guys are ready to go to the Millennium Tower. We'll head out once four of you are all good. Oh, and I brought some blankets so you can rest. Can't take a massive criminal conspiracy with a little beauty sleep, right? Or without one, sorry. Okay. And now I can pick which character, so I, I guess I should get healing items for all of them. This game has involved a lot of effort in terms of reading. Like, I've had to, This is why it was difficult to play this sometimes, because the problem was... I have four characters to sort of provide voices and continu continuity for. So, like... Yeah, I don't know. I hope there's enough of a difference between the four. I think there was. I'll have to watch this at some point and see how well I did. I think I already saved, but I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So. We got one more stream of this, I believe. This is the finale, so we'll wrap this up this week and then that will do it for Yakuza 4. Okay, I'm going to stretch my legs for like five minutes. I'm going to get a drink in here. And, uh, we'll just chill with some Diablo. I'm also gonna set up my music and whatnot, so that'll take, like, a couple of minutes. But I'll leave you with some random video game music until then. But yeah, we will conclude this, uh... If I feel like it tomorrow, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Depends how work goes. <laughs>